Good evening, dear viewers. Please confirm if audio is clear from where you are receiving it. Please confirm if your audio signal is okay. In the meantime, the guy you are watching on table right now, clad in that dark blue t-shirt, is Ian. As we are taking on tournament favorite Caesar Chandiga in this, the first semi-final of this 48-man comp that is happening for the better part of the last two days here at Adi's Sports in Chiraka.
in Kampala. They are racing to seven for a place in the final to take on the winner of the next match, which shall be between most likely Mansur and Lubola Simon, the computer, to present you this stream in video and voice. My name is Simon Peter Choi. First of all, apologies for a breaky sound. I'm using a noise filtering microphone to try and help iron out some of the background music which should affect the very existence of the page if it was not if it was left and filtered Caesar Chandiga is leading 1-0 against Ian Kaziwe it is business for Caesar not only because he's it is the semi-final but because he's up against the guy who is the last guy to have beaten him in a tournament like this one they were racing to seven just three days ago on Wednesday it's concluding week, semi-finals of the Le Badekom in Fort Porto. Close to 400 kilometers southwest of Kampala when Ian won that decider. With 7-6 being the final score, Caesar has a score to settle and he is leading 1-0 and he is playing to make it 2-0. And yes, he's shooting good. Normally likes to play to the noise of the fans. The fans, like you can hear in the background, are pushing him on. Sinks black for the second time in the match. Caesar 2. Ian L once again, it is a race to 7. You're welcome to the stream, Romano World Limited. Welcome to the stream, Hoikan. Nesdikanu, welcome to the stream, Darlington Lucheli Migali. From Botswana, welcome to the stream, Blazer Empty. Spinner, can you think Caesar will win 6 0? You are wrong because, first of all, it's not a race to 6. Secondly, I don't know if Ian will win the match, but I am sure he will win some games. Whether the games will win are many enough to win the match, that much I don't know. But he has been shooting so well in this tournament. He has had the toughest opponents in this tournament. In his first round yesterday, his victim was Ibra. Yes, Ibra. And what, a, what an exciting match we had between Ian and Hazard this morning. He was supposed to face Dog City in the round of last 16, only for Dog City to fall to a very unknown player. Actually, a manager called Henry here. In the semi-finals, Ian has taken down Joram Navasa, a veteran. Caesar has been so lucky in this tournament. In the first round, he got a walkover. Second round, he got a bye because his opponent, Demba, but didn't show up on time. He has only beaten two guys. Uh, a guy called Abdurazak. Beck. Somali born player, student at Chambago University in Kampala. And then in the semi final, that lovely performance against Kenneth Odong. Pardon, it was quarter final. Here he is in the semi final. With somewhat, somewhat, somewhat a point to prove against Ian. Especially after what. People who watched the game say it was a very memorable match at Grafton Bar in Fort Porto. Wednesday, during the week. He had to drive the entire length of close to 400 kilometers only to lose the semi-final. Of course, he got to win the third place match. And then just before he won a weekly comp, that was organized at Labans in Namulanda in Entebbe. Then, of course, don't remember that 16 man comp, Cream de la Cream at Dice Lounge, in which he lost to Hazard in the final in brief. That has been his recent performance. For Ian, only one comp won this year, but it is the last comp that has been played this year. Caesar standing like a scorpion on the table somehow. Maybe that's where the name came from. Ian is so far being reduced to an observer of this match. 
because the guy in, against whom he's playing is having none of a dry break, none of a very break. Every time Ian comes off the table, whether or not he has spotted a ball or not, Caesar comes back to finish. There's been three single visit clearances in in three frames. The national champion is making so far a big job of Ian. Who himself, by the way, don't write him off so early. I remember him coming from 4 nil down against Ibra in the beginning of the Compatsticos and Gigos in Kampala in a race to 7. Actually, he came from 5 nil down and then won 7 6. problem for him is that Caesar has again reported on the break. I just came to realize that this table on which we are playing is so friendly to offensive minded players. And talking of offensive minded players, these two are some of the best of them all. The players who have understood it the most have been computer and Caesar playing to their strengths and to the understanding of the table itself I think Caesar is at least partially snookered I doubt that he can see the yellow ball in full the one on the left to put it to the center pocket and it looks like an opportunity for Ian at least to play normally at times when he's knocked he tries to come off the cushion to even port this time he doesn't port at least he doesn't foul thank you Romeo Nyagwaya waving his Zimbabwean flag Zimbabwe seems like a very friendly nation to Caesar when he won that Queen's Post Club Double Elimination Comp in Blawai, he was pretty much at home during the tournament with lots of support. Shout out to a guy called Amajuda. He is probably watching. Lawrence Benje, you are watching from Mobende, I know. Butra Junior, Butra Junior, you see, I think you're supporting Ian and Chitara. Elton, you're here for Caesar. You're asking how I am. Yes, I'm good, my bro. Thank you for watching. Always watching Owano Dennis or Pio Steven. Jonathan Kata waving the English flag. This is one of the very first times that I've ever seen. These games being watched all the way from England. Thank you for watching and sharing the love, Carter Elton. This is the best of Ugandan pool, two of the finest players in the country, playing in one of the regular tournaments that we have. We normally play black ball most of the time. Of course, originally English rules, black ball. Thank you for watching and for spreading the love. Cheers, Michael Richards. You try to presume that Caesar is having four now. I will presume that Ian is about to have one. We have that little problem of that red ball to the top right of your screen. Seems to be the ball in his mind as he executes this shot. I doubt that there is a clear path for him to put it. Maybe try off the cushion and off the yellow. Maybe in a direct shot. I don't know. Goes for direct shot, did actually a little of the yellow, just a little. Got himself out of one problem and threw himself right in another problem by getting himself snookered. And yet he knows that any chance he gives to Caesar back on table will most definitely lose him this frame. Tries to play must shot white ball curving round the yellow just a little to find the red. Hopefully to put it, it won't come easy. It is possible though.
Yes. I don't think we are having anything short of entertainment by what these guys are producing. What a recovery from Ian. And it makes it even sweeter by following it up with a clearance of the frame itself and now makes it one compared to scissors three. Just a little issue of technical aspect of the table. One ball not moving naturally out of the table's mechanism. Management will be sorting it out very shortly, and then the match will resume.
Someone is saying that the tournament started yesterday, but it is the first time you are watching Caesar. Maybe you didn't want, maybe this is the third time his match is coming live on this very page today. Third time today. And it's the semi final, and it's the rest to seven. And whoever wins this match will be the first player into the final. I would be tempted to think that in a way that whatever Caesar is doing is an indirect response to what has been happening in Durban over the last three days. Between his two rivals, you know what I'm talking about. Tom Thomas connecting from the Republic of Namibia. Someone is asking if Ibra is still in the tournament. It is the semi-final. Ibra was defeated yesterday. Charity Andrew, you want Brian to flip the scoreboard? Well, not so sure there is enough space for the red to pass. The space is sometimes enough if the player with the kind of space is Caesar. Yet again, yet again, yet again, Caesar impresses, entertains, excites, and wins. Extends his lead to 5 1. Ian is nodding his head in disbelief over a guy who is simply not giving him a chance to play. The worst Caesar to face up against is the Caesar who has a score to settle. 
the Caesar who thinks he needs to prove a point. Moses Bokenya, the guy who normally is live watching with you guys, is the guy this time at the venue and is the guy deciding to tip Caesar. Why can this can say Ian should be the top five in Uganda? Well, on his day, anybody can fool anybody. And yet, this one is not his day at all. It cannot be your day. When you are not putting on the break and when your opponent is season. I'm just waiting to see what Caesar plans for that red ball, that yellow ball at the center pocket. I think this is the shot to open it up. And in the very end, he makes it look like the easiest shot available on the table. Next one will be big backspin drawing the white ball backwards off the cushion. There we go. When he is playing, you simply see poetry in motion. Stuff happening as if he's moving the white ball with bare hand. Imagine the kind of form in which Ian has been in this tournament and how he's being lessened to a spectator of this game. Thank you, Banzili. Ban watching from South Africa. Prince No No. Abel Ability Feni. Farid Vidal. Didari Bilarius Owala. Robinson Matov. The ambassador of Hayball in Uganda is impressing in Blackpool. At least here now has a dry break from season. For Ian to proceed to the final, he will need to win six games in a row. Any game lost out of six, we'll see him wait to play in the third place match. Congratulations, Keith Banks. You bought new shoes and you are making us informed of that. Congratulations to you, sir. Spice Tebiansala, number one fan of Caesar nowadays, seems to be supporting Caesar only because of conditions, because she doesn't want to support Ibra for reasons best known to her. Shame upon you, Spice. A good crowd of about 200 people at the venue watching. Tournament has been played on four tables. Now we are using only two. The others have been closed such that fans get ample space to sit and watch, especially the action which is happening on this table, the center table, the selected center table. 
the ladies final has started by the way and Zaymat is leading 1-0 against Anka Sheila. Nelson Scientist Smith watching from the Kingdom of Eswatini Pass my shout to Dodge Masebola and, uh, Big thanks to the Eswatini family The Pool Fraternity Such a very wonderful addition to the entire African Pool Fraternity Especially after organizing that Eswatini Pool Festival successfully Won by Ganda Ganda And where we had the revelation of Bez Ephraim Jalamba, thank you for watching Alfred Otim It is one of those moments when your opponent has seven reds and you have two yellows but yet your game is the bad game that is exactly what Ian is going through and this is in the kind of vinyl form he is in he could find one ball to put and open up those two reds which are touching the black and the yellow and before you know it he will be gone Just a little energy, just a little less than he hoped for. The opening is not perfect. He didn't even need to open up the game. He simply needed to move the white round as though he's moving it by plain hand. He is aiming at the black already as if signaling that the reds are already cleared off the table. The opponent can at a time feel even disrespected by the quick brains of this guy such an entertainer sometimes when he's in the kind of form he is almost a perfectionist on the table a nightmare to his opponent but a darling to the crowds Caesar Chandiga I'm not sure what he's planning to do. <laughs> little details. So little shots, but so detailed in execution and in intention. And he will play black seemingly for the last time in the match and the Caesar takes down Ian and qualifies for the final of a tournament another time after one more time and another time and another time and another time it is Caesar in the final he'll be taking on the winner between Mansur and the computer that one is coming up live next thank you for being a great audience see you then